Ladies, I bet there is no one among us out there who does not want beautiful skin with a healthy glow, right? That's why so many of us take all those steps we do to give our faces the royal treatment. We, we wash, we tone, we exfoliate, we moisturize, we apply masks, the works. But most of us are probably missing a key component to having beautiful skin. And so we're going to talk about that today. And who better to help us out than our beautiful celebrity guest host, Josie Bissett, who has remarkable skin, I might add, and also Dr. Betsy McCarley Billies. Now, she is a dermatologist from Visalia, California, a board certified dermatologist, we might add. Thank you both for being here with us this morning. Good morning, Josie. Good morning. Good, Good morning, doctor. Good, morning. Good to see you both. I was cracking up at your intro because it's so true. I mean, we, we do, we put all this, all these products on our face mm -hmm. and, and in hopes to create beautiful skin, mm -hmm. but really our skin looks the best when we're taking care of mm -hmm. ourselves, when mm -hmm. we're sleeping, when we're managing our stress levels and when we're eating good foods. I want to bring you in here for this because most dermatologists seem to focus on helping your skin from the outside in because you've got the prescriptions and then you've got the skincare products, of course. But I understand you talk to your patients about nutrition as well, which I have to say is just so important. Um, tell us why nutrition is great for healthy looking skin. Well, some people don't realize that your skin really is a reflection of what's going on on the inside of your body. So if you're healthy on the inside, you're much more likely to look good on the outside. You know, our skin is an organ of our body that detoxifies con on a constant basis. It's doing that all day long. So it needs to be nourished and exercised in order to do its job. Yeah, but it seems almost more important, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, our skin's our biggest organ. Mm -hmm. So we can put all this stuff on top, but if we're not awesome. nourishing the inside, we're not And can't you tell when you're not eating the right things, doesn't it show on your skin? It doesn't mm -hmm. mind. Absolutely. It's yeah. a huge, huge yeah. thing. And and the thing is, we do, we hear all this conflicting information, you know, about hydration and exercise and our skin. Mm -hmm. Tell us how the water we drink or the exercise we do affects our skin. Well, of course, water, water makes up most of our body, so we know we need water. And when we're dehydrated, we all notice this, our wrinkles that we do have are, are more accentuated. Mm. But when we're hydrated, our skin actually has an increased elasticity and the wrinkles are diminished. We have a healthier glow or plumper to look. And of course with exercise. Do you want some water? Yes. <laughs> some I was water. just about to reach for my glass <laughs> right there. Water, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Chug it. Yeah. <laughs> and exercise too, you know, when we exercise we increase the blood flow to our to our skin and nourish it that way. So if we can combine those two things, exercise be and water, good. we'd be looking a lot <laughs> better. Yeah. Looking I know good. I travel a ton and the dehydration from the mm. air. I mean I can oh, really yeah. see that in my skin. Mm -hmm. So I try to always have just a big jug of water with me. Let's get back to nutrition. Why is what we eat so important to our skin? Well, nutrition is really a huge part of our skin health, and that's mm -hmm. really because our skin is constantly detoxifying, and by that I mean we have all kinds of stresses on our body from the inside and out all day long. Like when we do have stress, we create these things called free radicals, mm -hmm. which damage our skin. And then there's external stressors that create free radicals like ultraviolet light, pollution, smoking. It uses things called antioxidants, so we have to have enough antioxidants in our body to neutralize the free radicals. Mm. Those are found in fruits and vegetables. So if we fill up half our plates with fruits and vegetables every day, half our at plates? every meal, yes, we'd be in wow, good shape. that's a lot. How do you convince your patients to do that? Oh, well, that's a good point. It's hard. I mean, I like to recommend to my patients taking Juice Plus, which is a plethora of fruits and vegetables condensed into a capsule form. So they actually get that nutrition that they might not actually be eating on the plate every day. I live a super busy life mm -hmm. and travel a ton and I have been taking this for the last four months and I feel so good and aside from just feeling great physically I feel great knowing that I'm getting my fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Why do you like it so much and why do you recommend it to your patients? Well you know it's different than a multivitamin or just like a single like supplement that has mm -hmm. antioxidants in it because it really covers the whole spectrum of fruits and vegetables. There's been a considerable amount of clinical research conducted on Juice Plus. Does any of this research shed any light on what Juice Plus specifically does for our skin? Yes, the study showed that after 12 weeks of taking Juice Plus that microcirculation to the skin was increased by almost 40% which was really important because that delivers good nutrients and oxygen to the skin. 
Um, it also was shown to increase uh, skin thickness mm -hmm. and skin density and hydration of the skin. And so like you said before then, it seems that what's healthy for the body is healthy for the skin too, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's a great thing. Dr. Billies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Beauty from the inside out. And if you'd like uh, to know more about your own skin care regime and how your skin can benefit uh, from good nutrition from fruits and vegetables, please check out the website. It's juiceplus.com.